Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. Although today is Black Friday, we are not actually a retail store, so we don't have any um, Black Friday deals going on, but check back Monday for our Cyber Monday sales. We're going to have 10% off everything across the board, we're going to have 20% off across all the Sparkfun originals, and then we're going to have special flash sales throughout the day for even more amazing discounts, so be sure to check back then. But for right now, let's check out the new products we have for this week. First up, we've got four new products that look suspiciously just like XBs, but they're actually not. This is the new Digi XB Wi-Fi module. So these look a lot like an XB. They have the same form factor as an XB, but they're actually a Wi-Fi module. So you would actually configure these the same way you would an XB, an XCTU, or your favorite terminal program. And you can configure these to work on your wireless network. We have them in four different flavors. We've got the one with the wire antenna, the one with just the trace antenna internally, um, one with a UFL connector right there for an external antenna, and then the RPSMA connector. These are all pretty much identical other than the antenna options, so your range will vary depending on what antenna you put on them or what antenna is already on there. And for more details, um, check out the tutorial that we have for this week. It goes over all the different things you need to know about how to connect these, configure these, and get them working and actually get them sending data up to the cloud and all sorts of other things. So be sure to check out the product page and check out the associated tutorial to go along with those. And if you need something with the XB form factor and need Wi-Fi, check out the new XB Wi-Fi's. Next up, we've got a new product from Arduino. This is the long-awaited Arduino Yun. We just got this in yesterday, so we're still trying to wrap our heads around exactly what it is, but it's a lot of different things all in one board. First thing you can see is that we've got a couple USBs, we've got an ethernet over here, and then we've got this nice little metal shield. This actually runs off the 32U4, so it's similar to some of the other Arduino boards, but it also has ethernet on board, it has Wi-Fi on board, it has, um, this is just your standard USB programming port. It also has a USB host, but underneath this, it actually has a Linux distribution that is actually an offshoot of OpenWRT. So it actually has a little bit of Arduino, a little bit of Linux, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet, and a USB host. In addition to that, it even supports their PoE board right there, so you can do power over Ethernet. They even managed to fit a microSD socket on the back. Next up, we've got a couple new extended range speaker drivers. We've got them in two different sizes. We've got this two and a half inch, and then we have this larger four inch. These are extended range frequency drivers, which means that they have a slightly bigger frequency response than a normal driver would typically have. A typical driver would be just a mid-range tweeter or woofer or something like that. They would have a very narrow band of frequencies that could operate in. These are designed to operate in a much larger band. Um, for instance, I think this one goes from somewhere around 77 hertz up to around 8 kilohertz. And this one's actually, because it's a little smaller, it goes a little bit further. I think it goes from 150 hertz up to about 20 kilohertz. Now, all those ratings are based on, I think, a plus or minus 3 or plus or minus 5 dB deviation. So if you have this um, frequency response curve, something like that, and it falls off at the ends, you're going to pick that middle section that only has the plus or minus 3 dB deviation to it. So these can actually play a little bit beyond those points. You're just going to get some significant roll off at the ends. So this probably won't play bass very well. This will play bass a little bit better, but just, you know, another octave or so lower. Um, they are a 25 watt for the big one, and this little one is a 15 watt. So they can actually handle a decent amount of power. Um, we do have the data sheets and specs up on those, so you can figure out how to do an enclosure for them. So if you're looking for a project that you need a little bit more audio quality out of, check out the extended range drivers. I've decided to demonstrate our new speaker drivers by building what's called a talk box. A talk box is an instrument effect that was popularized by Peter Frampton, and it's actually just a way of modulating sound using your mouth. I've just gone to our local hardware store, and I've bought some plumbing parts. This is all 4-inch PVC plumbing. And in between, I've actually put one of our 4-inch speaker drivers. And the speaker faces up into the top of the pipe cap, so that when you close it, there's a tight seal, the wires for the speaker run out the back and they're covered with glue so it's sealed there. And the only way that air can escape this and sound uh, is through this hose. When you play sound through this, the sound comes out of the hose. You can hardly hear it when you cover the end. So if you place this hose in your mouth, you can actually use your cheeks and your tongue to modulate that sound the same way that you would 
uh, when you're speaking or singing. What I've done is I've connected my guitar into a small mixer that I'm using as a preamp so that I can actually feed that signal into one of our audio amplifier kits, which is what I'm using to drive the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a visual. <laughs> uh, I know, yeah.